Uh, he's at weight. Uh, so I'm gonna get him out here and see how he does. It is still a little too hot and muggy and monsoony to get out there and actually hunt. So I'm gonna see how he does today. I may give him a couple really good meals to get his weight back up and then take him out. But we'll see how he does. Right? There. Whoa! I'm gonna do this real quick. These are pretty big pieces, so. Um, he's at 728. And that's with all of his equipment on. See? They always need like a little reminder at the beginning of the season. Excuse me. You who? I'm over here. Hey. Look. Salivating. Yeah, they all lie. Hopefully, I don't know if you can see him. Come on, you're gonna have to. I know it's hot and muggy out here. As soon as the monsoons come, it rains and it gets really cool and it's all good. Here, look at all this. Yummo. Now, right here, if this was a bird that was new and, and being trained, I would put him up especially if I could afford to lower his weight. Now, if I lowered Leroy's weight, it would have been terrible. However, I actually wanted to add weight to him, but I also didn't want to just give it to him because then that would teach him bad habits, which this is kind of doing as well. However, I really wanted him just to jump a couple of times and make him think that he actually had to work for it and then give him a really good meal. So that's what we see here. If this bird behaved like this and it was a new bird, this bird would go up. This is why I like to say that weight management is not a recipe cookie cutter. You've got to read the bird, understand the bird, understand the mechanics. This isn't training. He knows what he's supposed to do. So he's just kind of waiting me out. Come on. He's training me actually. Come on, you can do it. Just hop up to the fist once. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. All right. You do it one more time. And I'll give you your meal. Okay? One more time, and it's your meal. Okay? I kind of figured it'd be too hot and muggy out here for you. I know. Come on. I'm not even going to bother with the crayons. I mean, he knows what to do. It's just, it's hot. And for it being this hot, he's too high in weight. But at night, it's getting cold. I have to wear winter clothes in the morning. So, <clears throat> he's also, I think he's been robbed. Um, this bird does not have a mean bone, in, not a mean bone in his body. But when he's got food, if I stuck my hand in there, yeah, I would come back with a bloody stub. So he's extremely possessive of his food. And I think that's because he's been robbed. Which is why you don't rob your birds. Because you get behavior issues, trust issues. Um, and I do make him eat in front of me. I've never robbed this bird, ever. And this will be his 10th season, so I've had him five seasons. His last five seasons, so uh, he knows that I've never robbed him. Turn around. But you can chew. There, just, I would hold it for you, but you'd bite and flip me. And I can't see what you're doing. Here. Leroy. This is, enough is enough. You're, you're getting a little ridiculous. Here, just chew your food. You know I don't steal your food, so get over yourself. Here we go. There we go. So he was 728, and that includes his uh, transmitter and his bell, which isn't actually on him, but I account for that. So his ideal weight during the hawking season, when it's like cool out, coolish, is about 725-ish. I mean, I have flown him as high as 770. I wouldn't recommend that. And it was probably something, it was stupid. But, and I can't remember why I did it. I, um, 
but yeah you don't have a whole lot of control and it's dangerous i have had him a whole lot lower like in the 17s even 700 um but i, I don't like getting him that low if he'll work at 720 uh 730 i keep him that and i'll fly him regularly at 740 750 when it's really cold and he's got his muscles built up so he starts out this low but he doesn't end this low um, throughout the season as he builds muscles and it gets you know obviously cooler um, his weight comes up quite a bit so but he always starts out a little bit low until he's reminded hmm? he likes his job he likes hunting he likes flying around hmm? he likes sitting around and doing nothing too <laughs> all right say bye bye everybody say bye D-Roy D-Roy he's already right there I think you can see He's going to jump to Trevor for his meal, and that's all he's got to do. He's at his winter weight, so... We'll see if he does it. I ain't going to bother with the crayons. He's like, ugh, that's kind of far. Come on. Yeah, he's... <gasps> Look at that. Appetizing, Leroy? Yeah, it does. He's salivating. He's like, I don't know if I want to do that much work. It's kind of hot out here. And he's just, he is not, so we're not facing into the wind, which we need to change that. But that's just where this is, so don't always know. But, because it's better if they fly into the wind, otherwise, they get their feathers ruffled and they don't like it. Come on, Lazy. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Leroy, don't make me withhold food from you. I don't want to. I know. Okay, hang on. You want to wet your whistle first? Yeah. He is always very slow to get started, but once he finally does, then he's good. So... can't make you hungry. He also does this when that parasite is brewing. So, mm. you know, it's hard to tell sometimes. So you can see Leroy's a little slow to respond. So here you can see me covering up the tidbit that's hiding or taking away his opportunity to see it or offer it so that way it is the theory is is that it encourages him to act a little bit quicker here you can see that we're actually moving to the other side because the wind was going up his feathers so he birds prefer to fly into the wind so if your bird's not flying or coming to the fist or whatever or you're trying to get him trained to come to the fist make sure that they're flying into the wind um, when I set this up, the wind actually was going the other way. It changes a lot, especially during monsoon season. It shifts very quickly. I can set up, walk into the house, and come back out, and it'll be in a completely different direction. Also, you can see, you know, because we're off camera, I actually had Trevor back up a little bit. The human mind thinks that if we get a little bit closer to the bird, but you can see how tall Trevor is, so it was more of a straight vertical jump up to the fist. But to us, it looks like we're getting or moving the glove closer. If you back away to where they have to fly at more of a, a low um, climb versus a straight vertical, you may get a little bit more success. And he did eventually, um, once we adjusted all this, he did come to the, the glove pretty quickly. Sure. He's got a blood parasite that makes him anemic and just kind of sluggish and lethargic. And this is sometimes what it looks like at the beginning of the season. So in the seasons past, I would start his medication about two months before I knew I wanted to lower his weight because it's very difficult to do weight management when you're feeding them twice a day to get medicine in them. So, and then plus you don't want to start out like this. But since he started, or since he tested, his blood smear showed in March that he had no parasite. This is now an experiment. So I wanted to lower his weight, and then now I'm going to take him down uh, pretty soon. 
like in the next week or so, hopefully sooner than two weeks, and have a new blood smear done and see if he still has that parasite. If he does, he'll go on his medication and we'll just deal with it. But just wanted to see. That was only uh, kind of a way we could find out. But anyway, he's going to get his meal. Everybody's going to get the day off tomorrow. 